It's the online world that has children and teenagers hooked. But experts say gaming is the new playground for predators. Wherever there's an opportunity, predators will always be lurking and trying to take that opportunity. 18-year-old Asperger's sufferer Aaron Page was an active gamer. He'd gone to meet people he'd been talking to online. Ten days later, his body was found in an Aurelia backyard. Now two women are charged with his murder. Private investigator and former child abuse squad police officer Nina Hobson says there's been a rise in predators using the gaming scene to lure the young and vulnerable, particularly those with developmental conditions. For them to be able to go into a gaming world and not have to deal with those social abilities is a, a get out for them. It, it, it's a case where they can perhaps be somebody else. 97% of Australian kids aged 12 to 17 play some form of video games. 30% of them play online with people they don't know. Experts say games let predators build shared online experiences before direct contact, often through chat functions on the consoles or in private chat rooms. In the eyes of targets, a friendship is formed. Many predators use fake names and avatars, but police say their every move can still be traced. And things can be traced back to a long line of where he's had contact and who he's had contact with. But there are things parents can do to minimise the risks. Know what games your child is playing and learn how to play them yourself. Talk with your child about privacy issues. Know all their passwords and randomly check in. Use parental controls. Children also need to be encouraged to keep parents in the loop. Go and tell somebody A, who you're meeting and B, where you're meeting that person and have some safety barriers in place. Rebecca Johns, Nine News.